Well, it is late November and I am up super early, or I stayed up late, I don't know which one it is, to do a sand hill crane hunt. Uh, for my very first time, I'm super excited about it. I've heard guys talk about it uh, for years now and I got drawn this year here in Arizona and I'm pumped. I, I can't wait to go out there and, uh, and harvest some of these amazing birds. I heard there's some of the best tasting birds out there. I'm excited for that. Um, it is right around 1 a.m. I'm making a four hour trip to southeastern Arizona, east of Tucson, and uh, I'm meeting up with a, my guide. His name is Chris. Seems like a super awesome guy. I can just tell this is gonna be an awesome day. So I'm gonna drink some more coffee, eat my breakfast, Hopefully we're gonna see some sandhill cranes and bring a lemon home. But good shot. <laughs> good job. Congratulations. You got a limit. <laughs> Is that mine or yours? I think it was mine, but I was wanting to ask you first. Huge. Nice wingspan. This is the biggest sand hill crane I got today. That's his wingspan. This bird is big. Look at this thing, man. It's huge. Those legs. It's big. It's a big animal. Well, it is three o'clock in the afternoon and I am nearly home from a long day of driving and hunting. And we got, uh, there were three of us hunters there today and all three of us filled our tags, all three tags by 8.45 a.m. We started hunting around 6.45, 7 a.m. I forget where it was, but Man, what a great day. It was awesome. I would absolutely do this again. Big shout out to Chris uh, at Arizona Desert Waterfowl. Man, you did a phenomenal job today. And uh, so much so that I'm looking forward to booking him again. It was that good of an experience. So, uh, man, what an awesome trip. I'm excited to share this with my family and some friends. And, man, let's, let's 
pull a tag again next year. Let's get three more next year. It'd be great. All right, I'm ready for a little bit of ribeye of the sky and a long nap.